Welcome to this demo by LearningComputer.com. Today we are going to be looking at Excel 2013 basic formulas. So let's uh, jump right into it. Uh, before we get going, we really need to cover the basics uh, about uh, working with Excel and uh, formula type information. So Excel is really made up of cells, which in turn are composed of rows and columns. Uh, that is the pretty much the structure of an Excel spreadsheet. Now the rows are in numeric order while the columns are in alphabetical order. So for example, let's say you are working with uh, you know, cell C5. That really means that uh, this is the cell that's at the intersection of column C and the fifth row. Uh, and we're going to look at Excel in a minute, but uh, uh, cells can contain values or formulas. For example, the value in cell C5 is 112. So I'm actually going to switch to uh, um, Excel 2013. Here's a basic spreadsheet that I have in here. So the cell we're talking about, uh, notice that this is the intersection of column C and the fifth row. And so the value in here is 112, okay? Um, that's, that's what I meant by that. Now, uh, as far as when you're talking about a range of cells, you can also uh, work like that. Uh, you need to use colons, uh, which will really indicate the range. So here we have an example of a range A2 through A15. We have a colon in the middle. It really means that, uh, you know, we are working with uh, column A and we're going through cells basically uh, A2 through A2 all the way through A5, okay? Now, also, uh, when working with formulas, you need to be aware of formula bar. This is really, it shows you the, con you know, the content, the contents of the cell. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our cell H1 again in the spreadsheet. So let's move over here. You'll notice in my first row, which is one, I have a bunch of numbers, one, two, three. But if I click on H1, I left click on it you will notice it's giving me a six and here uh, you can see that uh, you know we have a formula and if I go through that basically what says is E1 uh, which is the value in uh, the, the blue uh, rectangle plus F1 which is this one uh, the one in the green and then G1 which is purple by the way the, this is new for Excel 2013 uh, you know which makes it very visually um, um, informative so you can kind of see you know what is going on but basically um, you can see that we are summing these values so 1 plus 2 plus 3 is, is going to be 6 so I just wanted to mention that up here uh, this is called the formula bar so th those are some of the basics I wanted to talk about uh, really uh, let's get into the heart of the matter uh, today we are going to be looking at some simple math examples using Excel 2013 uh, there are three uh, things we will like to cover today. The first one is just doing basic things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, okay? We will like to do that. And then we'll move on to doing some basic cell math. You can basically use the cell reference, like I mentioned, like C5, A2, and whatnot, to do basic math. You can add values. Uh, subtract values and do uh, you know other kinds of operations and then finally we will wrap the training video with uh, formulas and some basic functions from Excel uh, including the sum function and the uh, popular average function so not uh, not a whole lot going on but uh, like I said this is this is a basic uh, you know video we will all we will also add uh, advanced topic later uh, later on this so um, as far as looking at simple math uh, really we would like to do four things okay we would like to do addition and we're going to add uh, 12 plus 10 okay and then for subtraction we're going to subtract 10 from 25 for multiplication we will multiply 8 with 5 and then division we would like to divide 160 by 6 so um, this is going to be what I've done is I've basically broken uh, this by tabs if you look down here um, so the first one we're going to look is going to be simple math and so like I mentioned that um, you know what I've done uh, this is really more for visual reasons I have uh, uh, let me let me switch back here um, you can see that uh, in my first row I'm just doing addition so I'm adding 12 plus 10 which really should be 22 but how do you do that in Excel well 
you start everything with uh, with an equal to. So you go equal to, and I'm going to uh, basically add 12 plus 10. Okay. Um, I'm just using absolute values right now. Later, I'm going to show show you how to do this uh, using basically the cell reference. But um, if I hit enter at this point, this is going to give give us the answer. The next thing we'd like to do is subtract 10 from 25. So again, uh, everything in Excel working with formula starts with an equal to. So we'll go equal to 25 minus 10. This, if I did my math right, it should be 15. Uh, and then multiplication, uh, we're multiplying 8 by 5. So we go equal to 8 times 5. 40 and then finally we do division we'll go 160 divided by 6 okay uh, so this this actually you can see that it gives it gives us a uh, numeric uh, information with the decimal so that that is basically doing some simple math I know it's not terribly exciting but we are going to move on also by the way it is it is um, January 1st so happy new year uh, some some people run to the gym. I happen to be making a video, so I can uh, you can see where my priorities are. But uh, moving on, um, let's do look at some cell math. Okay, so for this example, we are going to switch gears, and we really need to calculate uh, sales by year data uh, for for our uh, customer. Let's say, and then um, as far as if you're not an expert at Excel formulas, no problem. We'll basically uh, you know show you this is an alternate way so when you're trying to sum information and you may not know a lot of the functions and whatnot you can really use the basic cell reference to do this okay and then uh, in addition you can also use a combination of cell reference plus numbers I will show you the, that in a minute and then finally uh, we can show you the awesome feature that's been around a number of years uh, autofill which is going to let you um, you know do some of this information in a faster manner there are two ways to do that one is to use a copy paste and also you can use the fill handle so um, we we are going to basically switch to the demo again and this time i'm going to go to uh, cell math okay and so what i need to do basically at this point is um, we have uh, a few things here we have sales by year so this information is before 2010 we have the revenue column uh, the cost uh, to make the goods and then the net uh, profit which we don't have yet and then uh, obviously we're repeating the same information uh, similar information for 2011 and then uh, the year that just went by yesterday 2012 okay so how do we do that I mean uh, without really I guess using the formulas and just using cell reference well it's fairly easy what you need to do is here uh, I'm going to try to add these three okay and then uh, all I really need to do is go start with equal to and then try to figure out you know what cell it is well you can see that this cell is intersection of B column B and row 6 okay so I'm going to say B6 okay and it even highlights that which I do like that plus well what's the next one well it's just B7 really okay and then what's the what's the third one this is going to be uh, B8 okay so really what have we done we have just added uh, you know the values from the cells one by one and this if I did the math right I believe should be uh, 53,000 okay so when you hit enter you know that's what it gives you okay and now that was in addition well what if you wanted to do subtraction so in other words this is your revenue the cost was 10,000 what is our net as I as you can see it should really be 10,000 but let's let's do this again so again revenue is in B6 minus so we're subtracting the cost well what is the cost it is in column it's in, in actually column C and then row 6 okay and then hit, you hit enter again okay now as far as using the autofill you know you could obviously do this here you could do this here but what if you had you know lots of data here how would you do that well one way to do this is fairly easy using autofill okay you could do uh, control C which is what I just did or you can also do 
let me escape out of this you can also do a right click and copy either one will work okay and then <clears throat> you go to your target location which is d7 and d8 well what does that mean well we would like to use the same computation which means the revenue minus the cost okay and we'd like to use that for the year 2011 and the year 2012 well looking at these numbers uh, for 2011 we should have made a net profit of 4,000 and for 2012 we should have made 9,000 okay so this that's really what we're trying to solve so I just did a copy and again I'm going to do control V okay or you could do right click and do paste okay and look at that if we just you know it, it it did the computation now if you look at this this was subtracting you can look up here in the formula bar that I mentioned this is subtracting c6 from b6 okay similarly this one is subtracting you know c7 from b7 and then this one is obviously doing b8 minus c8 uh, that was using uh, copy paste I'm going to show you another uh, way to do this is to use the uh, the handles <clears throat> autofill handles so what you do is you select your source um, you know which is this one and then you bring your uh, bring your cursor right at this uh, bottom right corner okay so notice we have a fat uh, plus sign and now it's gonna change to a skinny black one see that now that just activated the autofill handle and I'm going to uh, click on it one time left click on it and then just drag it okay see that and you could you know you could have kept this going till till the cows come home but uh, we'll just leave this one and then let it go and it just did the computation so this is a very very beneficial beneficial way to you know do repeat information that you're trying to do